Hi guys, from this here, back again for another video on the channel. This one today then, is the first match preview of the Skybet Championship season. It's Rotherham United v Swan City, and I'll be previewing it today. So before we get on the video, guys, I have set up a Champsy Fancy League. The link will be down below to where you can actually find the Google game. It isn't on an app store, I don't believe, so it's just a Google website. So click on the Google website, which will be linked down below. The code will be underneath. You just type that code and you can join my league. And when you guys join a league after the game week, I'll be revealing in, in my championship score predictions who had the best points and what teams I really liked last week. So Rotherham United, back in the championship after spending last season in League One. They finished second, gaining promotion on the final day against Gillingham. A 2-0 win for Rotherham United in that one, which actually sent Gillingham down and Rotherham back into the championship. The last three fixtures against One City, all losses. And of course, the last time we did play Rotherham United was behind closed doors in lockdown, which was a long, long time ago, to be honest. Completely forgot about lockdown. It was a free one with for Swansea City, Matt Grimes, Jay Fulton, and Connor Horhan all getting the goals in that one. Free centre midfielder Swansea City, very rare in that one. Rather than United have a former Swansea City goalkeeper in Josh Vickers. Didn't actually make a first team appearance for Swansea City, more than under 23 player. He's made 26 appearances for Rather than United since joining in November 2020. And it'll be very interested to see if he makes his return against Swansea City on the weekend. For Swan City then, a former Rotherham United player amongst our ranks, Ryan Manning. He did spend Rotherham United on loan between the spell of August 2018, between December and 2018. Scoring four goals in 18 games, which was pretty reasonable for Ryan Manning. And two of the goals came against Swan City. We lost that game 2-1. They had two penalties. Manning come to them both. Some good penalties in there, to be fair, from Ryan Manning. I think he was more of a left centre midfielder for Rotherham than anything. But yeah, Manning, you know, scoring two goals. Hopefully he can score two goals against Rotherham this weekend. That'd be very nice. So let's go on to the highest rated players for Rotherham United last season per match. Of course, some players who were amongst the ranks have actually left the club. So these will just be the three highest players who are still currently at the club. In first place then, you've got Daniel Barliza with a 7.59. So Rob United's best player who is still at the club from last season. Second place, you've got Che Dozi Ogbene with a 7.14. And he actually received two player matches last year. And the last best player for Rob United in third place is Ben Wiles with a 7.14. And he actually had the same rating as Ogbene, but had one less player of the match, which just means Ogbene. And it had a little bit of a better season. We are joined by a Rotherham United YouTuber. His YouTube channel is Rotherham Match Day Vlogs. It's going to be down below. His name is Seth. He's kindly sent in the clip about Rotherham United. What key players we can expect for from a Sun City point of view on the weekend. Who we need to look out for. He will be going to the game Saturday. So wherever the score makes you check his vlog out. Let's try and gain a few more subscribers. He seems a really, really nice guy. Link down below. Take away, Seth. So let's get into this. I am Rotherham Match Day Vlogs. I'm a Rotherham vlogger. It is my second actual season for vlogging. I had a season before, but that was for a bit of fun. I'd like to get a K subscribers by the end of this season. So make sure you drop a sub on my channel. So let's get into the expectations for them. So as a club, I think our expectation is to stay up. To stay up would be absolutely vital after being relegated for, I think it's two or three seasons in a row now when being in the championship. Now known as a yo-yo club. So I think we're trying to prevent that name on us to try and stay up this season. If you have uh, listened to the BBC Sounds Moment of Truth, Tony Stewart did say we're on a three, four year route to get to the Premier League. This season's to stay up, next season's that 10 and 15th and then he's going to start investing um, after two years. In the summer transfer window, looking to get a few more signings through the door, Paul Warren met up um, with a striker who were a target last Thursday. We've had signings in like a really good experienced centre-back from Middlesbrough, Grant Hall, who should add to the defence. We've uh, signed Connor Washington and Tom Eves, but unfortunately Tom Eves is injured at the moment. A quick stat for you as well, I think it's in the last eight or nine seasons we've finished top four or bottom four. So if this carries on, if we want to stay, we're going to have to finish 21st. I do believe in Paul Warren. Paul Warren can do wonders with any players. Have you seen with Michael Smith? We let him go. We brought him in from Berry Reserves. Um, and he's obviously going to betray us to go to Wednesday, but... He did have a brilliant three, four years at the club. So now on to the three key players. I'm going to get straight into this. and I'm going to start with a Swansea target, according to rumours, Chidozio Bene. He's on his last contract last year for the club. Hopefully he signs a new one if a miracle happens. Um, I'm going to be honest, he does lack a bit of end product sometimes. I think if he did have end product, I'm trying to be optimistic with him, he'd be in the Premier League. 
he can play in a couple of positions. So for Rotherham, he does play in the right wing back position, as we do like to play a five back. Is why we've been bringing uh, defenders in for cover, and he can play in between like a centre forward and a striker. That's what he does for Ireland. So if there was a position between striker and centre forward, he would match that perfectly. If Swansea do manage to get Chio, I'll be gutted, but it'll be a great signing for you. Hopefully you lot can push uh, towards the top half of the table, playoffs, even promotion, and get to the Premier League, because I would like to see how he is in the Premier League. To be fair, it's really hard to think of some key players, because we did lose one in the transfer window, Michael Smith. But I think at the end of the day, he isn't going to be a big miss because looking at pre-season, I don't think, I don't think or I don't know if he's going to be able to do it at this level. Um, Georgie Kelly, he's only played a game for us in actual professional football and that was at Gillingham when he scored a screamer against um, against them in the last minute to send us up. He's been bagging go goals for fun in pre-season, but to be fair, we have been playing against teams like Mansfield, Salford, crew all in league two so the real question is can he do it in the championship my opinion can he do it in the championship i'm not sure as i said i hope he can because we can play him every game up against with or eves running off eves running off caution the washington running off chio i think under one as i said one does wonders i think he will be a good player so I'm looking forward to see what he does um, in the championship. So I'm going to target the midfield three, well, midfield four in Jamie Lindsay, Barlasser, Wiles and Rathbone. Last season, I think they helped us massively having a strong midfield. They all do different roles. Barlasser will sit in, protect the defence, spray balls, left, right, centre, you name it. Rathbone's like our powerhouse. He'll get the ball, he'll work hard. He's like the engine, forwards, backwards. And Wiles, he's still creative with the ball. He do the same as Rathbone, but like more passing. Uh, Wiles is a bit of a, a versatile player. He's played at left back and right back before. He's played behind the striker. So yeah, look out for them. Now on to the predictions for Saturday's game. I will have to be optimistic. I think I'll be a bit biased here, but I'm going for Rotherham three, Swansea one. I can see it. All scorers. I'm going to go for Georgia Kelly. Chio Bene and Peter Kayoso. And for you lot, I think that Obafemi is going to score. I think it is a class signing that you've signed him from Southampton. I think he'll do bits in the championship. And I'll see you on Saturday. Good luck, boys, and good luck for your season. Thank you very much for Seth coming on the channel. Really do appreciate him, mate. Like I said, guys, his link will be down below. So feel free to subscribe to him. Let's go on to my starting 11 then. In goals, Andy Fisher. Look, he's, he's changed his shirt to the number one. Now he will be our number one this season. Lewis Webb has just joined Aberystwyth Town FC as well on loan until January. So yeah, Andy Fisher will be the number one in this game. I've gone for a back five. We In the first half against Charlton last week, we did go to a back four. And it was horrific, apparently. Apparently, we did have an any control of the game we were really poor Harry Darling scored no goal we went to a back five second half scored two goals won the game 2-1 so yeah back five for me right wing back it's an interesting one because of course we've not actually got a right wing back at the club you can play Matty Surinola on the right hand side even though he's preferred on the left but for me, it's going to be Joe Latabordia. Now, I know Joe Latabordia has his critics at Swansea City, but I do remember a few times last season he did occupy that right wing back role and relatively played a right. I thought he was a bit better on the left hand side of the wing back role. But yeah, Latabordia, right wing back for me. The C three central defenders then. Nathan Wood on the right, going to make a Swansea competitive debut. Kyle Norton in the middle, steady as always. And on the left, Harry Darling. Yeah, you look, Nathan Wood, would he be in the team if Ben Gabang was fully fit? Probably not. But what I've seen him in pre season looks a really, really good player and look he's not made too many appearances for first team football for Millsborough also on City before but you know it'll be a hard hard game for him and a really really good test for him as well left wing back I'm gonna put Matty Sorinola look Mario Manning did really well last season in wing back role really good in defense as well but he's just not been given too much starts in pre-season so I don't think you know he'll be sat on this game so Nola's looked really really bright in pre-season of course on loan from Royal Union St. Gilois he's looked really really good of course for MK Don's player you've got to find that better as another option as well but he's not fancied by Russell Martin two midfield then it's going to be Jay Fulton and Matt Grimes very interesting about Jay Fulton you know Russell Martin 
doesn't seem like he wants him in his plans, wants him gone. But look, he'll be playing against Rotherham United in two days' time. And look, for me, I love Jay Fulton. It's great that he's still a Swansea player. Wages could be high, but look, you don't get many better squad options than Jay Fulton if it's an injury. Matt Grimes as well, he's got to play, relatively plays the majority of the season, hardly ever gets injured. Captain material, scored against Rotherham before and in the home fixture as well. So fingers crossed, Matt Grimes can score against Rotherham again. Free up front, Joel Pro on the right-hand side, Jamie Patterson on the left hand side and up front Michael Obafemi a really really good front three you could potentially say Olivier Encham Cameron Congreve in the attack in number 10 role but for me Olivier Encham as we've seen last season, he's better off the bench. And for Cameron Congreve, it's going to be a breakout season for him. But we don't want to rush him in. There's going to be expectation on this lad this season. People are going to expect a little bit of contributions from him. But we don't want to rush him. And I think, you know, Oxford United in a couple of weeks' time will be a perfect, perfect fixture for Cameron Congreve. And Michael Albafemi up front, of course, after the season finished, played for Republic of Ireland, scored and got an assist as well against Scotland. A really, really good performance from Michael Albafemi for that one. He's fully fit. Hasn't scored too many goals in pre-season. But, you know, as long as he does it in the league, that's what counts. My score prediction, I'm going for Rob United 1. I thought we were going to keep a clean sheet. When do we get a clean sheet? And I'm going to go for Swan City 3. I'm going to back the boys for a free one away. When the way Rob United play, they're going to probably utilise the set pieces, the long balls to try and score their goals. They're going to be defensively compact, trying to get something on the first game of the season. But I just think, you know, with our quality going up front with Perot, who's strike from long distance, Mike Wolofemi, who can come in, pass on his creativity. I just think we're going to be a bit too strong for Rotherham. Goals go for Rotherham. I did initially put in my notes Tom Evs, but he's apparently out injured which is fantastic because he always scores against us. Scored against us for Hull City last season. But yeah, for Rotherham, I'm going to go for Connor Washington to get his debut goal. Signed from Charlton Athletic. He's a decent player at this level. Be interested to see how he'll do this season. For Swansea, I'm going to go Michael Obafemi to bag a brace and Joel Pearl. I reckon the big two men will score for Swansea in terms of their scoring. Let me know down below what is your score prediction. And of course, if you are correct, we'll be featured on next week's preview against Blackburn Rovers. That's it for the preview, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe really looking forward to the start of the season now the season is one day away in terms of the first game Huddersfield v Burnley and I can't wait I will be going to the New York Stadium on Saturday so if you want to get in the vlog just talk to me or you know message on Instagram like we can meet beforehand and get in the vlog but yeah vlogs this season fingers crossed they go all well I know last season I think I missed one vlog because I wasn't feeling great so I didn't vlog that game and I've actually a great 3-1 victory over Bristol City but yeah vlog Saturday it'll be out an hour or two after the game but yeah, a lot of content on the channel this week if you've missed any videos please go and check them out like I said this channel this season is going to take a massive step up this previous Swan City this championship score predictions weekly with a guest which I had Mike Green on for yesterday i did a championship tail prediction which went very well and after all the game week one has finished i'll be doing a whole review of the game week and i'll be doing that alive really enjoying youtube at the minute got a real good passion for it new series coming on the channel new guests and we're making this channel a lot more championship related and of course this type of video is just for swan city fans and Rob united fans really but you know the other content on the channel for everyone so yeah hopefully you enjoy the video guys i will be going to the game saturday i can't wait vlog will be out as well first vlog of the season and hopefully it's it's free by Swan City. Best luck to Rob United though for the rest of the season. And I really like your stadium, really like your fans. And you know, even though I've predicted to go, to go down, I really hope you stay up because you're a brilliant club and a brilliant manager in Paul Ward. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you tomorrow for the watch song of Hudsfield Burnley and Saturday for Rob United Swan City match day vlog. Catch you later. Thank you.